Hello, this is Dr. Thomas Bennett in the uh, Health Sciences Department in the College of Health and Natural Sciences at Franklin Pierce University. I'm here to tell you about our program in Health Sciences and many of the components of it and uh, some of our students and some of the success stories and opportunities that come from this. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our faculty, uh, Dr. Layla Jabor is our anatomy and physiology specialist. She also teaches research methods and senior seminar. Uh, Dr. Tony Ma is a recent addition in the last year or so, and he teaches exercise physiology. He's an exceptional instructor and also researcher. Uh, he's part of our exercise physiology lab. Uh, and then there's Professor Helene Rogers, who is our anatomy and physiology lab specialist. She also works in the biology courses and teaches freshman and sophomore seminars. She's a great um, mentor for our students. Uh, Dr. Laura Kristoff, who is on the right-hand side here, uh, as in the second row, uh, she is with her exercise physiology students. Uh, she is a nutritionist and public health um, person and also is working very strongly in the exercise physiology lab with uh, nutrition uh, focus. The next picture is something that I'm very proud of. We went down to Dominican Republic recently, and this is a picture of the three faculty who took 10 of our students down to the Dominican Republic to work at a school for children who um, are being served by a community service project down there by FNE International, Facilitate Network Empower. We went down with this service group to help out with the school, some of their facilities with education, and also as a cultural um, experience for our students. Our students describe this as a life-changing experience. Uh, first, we have Dr. Lindsay Vago. She is a doctor of physical therapy who has gone on service trips in other places. She's a remarkable mentor for our students, particularly those who are going into the movement sciences, as she is a clinical practitioner. Um, such a great opportunity for our students. Uh, Dr. Uh, Rob Anzalone is a doctor of chiropractic, and he is uh, also just a great mentor, had a clinical career, as well as has had a long-standing educational career. And then myself, uh, Dr. Thomas Bennett. Um, I am uh, internal medicine trained in my background and looking to really just learn, grow, and do good things, and that's kind of how I mentor. Um, try to help our students find the things that they can do, and as you see the faces of the students in this picture, um, as well as the um, children at the school, this is a great opportunity, and we have many of these that we've engaged in and look forward to engaging in more. The overview of this talk is that we'll introduce health sciences, we'll talk about why this is a great major, we'll talk about the actual substance of the major, the advising process, which I'm very proud of, the mentoring that we do for our students. We'll also talk about the services that are here on campus and the opportunities um, that our students find and experiences that they engage in, that they engage in um, during their education and following their education. So first, why health sciences? This is something that um, we are going to need um, practitioners in, and it's a time when there is change in the medical field that allows for treatment and um, opportunities for prevention that were never there before. Certainly cardiology is one of the big areas of medicine, one of the major um, causes of disease and mortality, and so learning about this is key. Diabetes is on the rise, obesity is also on the rise, and this is something that we can engage in um, patterns so that we can prevent this, and if it's not prevented, diagnose and treat in much, much better ways. So again, the goal of health sciences is to learn about disease processes, learn about healthy living, and prevent um, diseases, and if they do occur, uh, treat and, if possible, cure them. And again, health sciences, this is one of the largest industries of growth in the United States. Uh, there are 22 million jobs that are projected to occur by the time the year 2022 comes around. 
Um, Thirty percent of new jobs. This is one of the fastest growing occupations that there is in the healthcare field. And again, what we do is we work with students to um, help them be the best that they can be. Our goal is to help you be prepared for entry into the various areas of healthcare. Our health sciences major is broken into um, different pathways so that if you're interested in uh, laboratory research or pharmacy, you can do a general health sciences path. Uh, the MDPA path serves folks who are going into more or into uh, medicine or physician assisting. And then the movement sciences, uh, PT and OT, uh, there are pathways for that as well. In terms of the required coursework, uh, the first year is biology, chemistry. Some students will wait to take chemistry in the second year, and I think this is very reasonable. Uh, you'll also have intro to health sciences, statistics, many other courses, some liberal arts courses as well. In the second year, there is anatomy and physiology, a very, very popular course in our folks here, Dr. Anselone, Dr. Jabor. Um, and Professor Rogers do a great job with this course. Medical terminology and health systems is something that I address. Um, human nutrition and health is, uh, is a course that is taught by Dr. Laura Kristoff, um, just an amazing instructor. In the junior and senior years, we have kinesiology. This is led by Dr. Vago. Um, she does an amazing job of introducing students to the movement sciences. And this is followed by exercise physiology by Dr. Tony Ma, who has put together an amazing curriculum to share this with students um, and the importance of exercise, nutrition, movement, all of these things fit together in a way of taking care of people in the absolute best ways possible. We have many um, electives that students can engage in and this is a list that is not even complete in terms of the number and scope of um, electives that we have for students. As I stated before, advising is something that we really do excel at. We help the students not only with choosing their courses, staying on track for their completion of their degree, but we also help them with selecting whether the career path they're looking for is the correct one for them not for another person, but for them personally. And we also help them find out about what the criteria are for getting into the schools of their choice. We help them with internships, and we help them with a lot of community service that you'll see a little bit later on in this slideshow. The services that there are at Franklin Pierce are many and wide ranging and really done very professionally by a wide range of staff. We have career services that helps with career planning, working towards preparing for applications, finding internships, and the job search. We also have the library, which is a phenomenal space for study. Um, I myself have had four of my um, children who have gone to Franklin Pierce. One of them is still here at Franklin Pierce. And they use the library on a regular basis, not only the on-ground library, but also the online uh, databases, ebooks, scientific articles that are just, it's an amazing array of opportunities for learning. The, Clin the Center for Academic Excellence is a group of professionals who work with people who need some peer tutoring, disability services, or uh, in the Center Scholar Program, need a little bit of a bridge between high school and college. And so this is a group of people who are dedicated to making sure that everyone has the best opportunity to succeed. The Writing Center is something that uh, my children also had the opportunity to benefit from, uh, particularly my, my oldest child, Drew, um, needed a bit of help with his early writing techniques and really just benefited from this greatly, really from one of my um, students in the health sciences who was working in the Writing Center really gave him a boost and made it so that he is an incredibly facile writer at this point. It's a very good group of people at the Writing Center. There are clubs and um, student government association which gives students the opportunity to get involved on campus and off campus. 
They do a wide variety of things uh, through the Health Sciences Club, as well as through Pennies for Pumps, which is a club that focuses on diabetes. Um, they engage in community service on a regular basis, including Relay for Life and fundraisers for the healthcare field. The wide-ranging experiences that are available will be seen in the next few slides. And we have these experiences here on campus as well as off campus. So we have in the anatomy lab, we have the hands-on learning, which students absolutely love. The exercise physiology lab also gives them the opportunity for this. The kinesiology labs, uh, microbiology, cell biology, uh, biochemistry, organic chemistry, the list is incredibly long of opportunities for students. They learn to present after putting together their information in really very solid ways and can do this when they leave in much better fashion than I think many of our peer institution students can. We have NIH funding, the National Institute of Health, the INBRI program, allows our students to work on cutting edge research with Dartmouth Hitchcock and sister colleges around the state on many different projects. Um, Dr. Jabor is working on the effects of opioids on the human brain. Uh, Dr. Amy Pispinen works with Can Candida Albigans. And then we have Dr. Aruda who works with genetics. There are many things that we do in the local community as well as the global community, as I stated before. Uh, Quest is a camp that has gone on for 10 years now. Many of our students have mentored uh, middle school students who really need to have some extra mentoring and training during the summer here on campus. Franklin Pierce donates the facilities, the Rotary is involved, and the local school system as well. Dr. Jabor goes into the school and presents to fourth graders on brain neurochemistry. Uh, there's also the service trip to Ghana. We've gone to Nicaragua. Um, we've gone down to, with the Student Government Association to um, spend time in the South uh, building houses. In the Inquiry Scholars Project, something that's gone on for six years where our students at Franklin Pierce University go out into the community and share their knowledge, their research skills, and their mentoring with um, students anywhere from fourth grade all the way up to seniors in high school. They give them really strong skills that they otherwise would not have the opportunity for. We've had students go down to, or go up to, I'm sorry, Concord, New Hampshire, and engage with the uh, coroner with autopsies, a great learning experience for them. You can see the wide ranging um, opportunities that students have had in internships and shadowing experiences. Uh, this is a really short list compared to what our students have done, but you can see that they're anywhere from Singapore to the Monadnock region all the way to Turkey. And so this is, this is a great opportunity for our students to broaden themselves and engage in so many different opportunities in so many different fields. We do have the um, direct admit pathways to the Doctor of Physical Therapy program and the Masters of Physician Assistance program. And you can see the criteria on this slide, which I'm not gonna go through in detail. But if you have the criteria coming in from your undergraduate career, you're on the direct admit path to either one of these really important graduate programs that we have right here at Franklin Pierce University. We have um, many of our students who have engaged in this and they have really succeeded in so many ways as you'll see in the coming slides. And as I said, uh, we will see many of our graduates and this is really my favorite part of the presentation because this is what shows how it is that our students do succeed in these disciplines and really engage to make the world a better place and make their own lives and their families um, very successful. Tim Adamchuk is a student who is now in a dental program at University of New England. Fantastic, good-hearted student. I did research with him and a very hard worker. We have folks who have gone to um, University of Pennsylvania, uh, down in orthopedics. We have folks who are going on to their graduate degrees, students who are in medical school currently. 
We also have uh, folks who are working in master's programs in exercise physiology, athletic training, kinesiology. Um, I'm going to take a moment on the, on the right-hand side of this slide. Drew Bennett is my son. Uh, he went to Franklin Pierce University and majored not only in the health sciences with biology, but also in the um, mathematics program. He did his master's in healthcare administration as well here at Franklin Pierce and is now working in data analytics and doing some really good work. He had a great experience here and this was a window for me onto the great things that Franklin Pierce can do for their students from a very personal vantage point. Taylor Hamsey is down at Baylor College of Medicine, uh, Physician Assistant Program. Matt Battis, uh, Marietta College, Physician Assistant Program. Many of our other students have um, done physician assistant programs, and we have Eric Summers who went to our own program, but we have students who have gone to many other programs as well. Ben Arpin uh, went, down to, went to school down in Philadelphia and has ended up back at Dartmouth Hitchcock, and very rewarding story with him as well that he enjoyed the program here so much that he recruited his younger brother, Russ Arpin, who was also in the health science areas, and ended up going to um, physician assistant program at our program and is now practicing in Keene. Uh, Josh Colombo went to MCPHS, Catherine Collins, Dan Champany. Uh, we also have students who have gone into um, doctoral programs in exercise physiology. Um, many of our students have gone into pharmacy as well and are still uh, students in our program who are very enthusiastic about this. We have students who have gone to programs in Colorado, as well as many of our students have gone to our own program, and this is a great opportunity for them to come back and mentor the students who are here as well. Uh, we've had students at Husson, Yukon, Sacred Heart, Rhode Island, St. Augustine. Uh, our students are well prepared, and I frequently get feedback from them that they are in good shape when they show up at their graduate programs to really succeed. More folks who have gone into the DPT program, Amanda Goffin is, uh, is a student who not only was brilliant, is brilliant, um, also obviously has a sense of humor. Megan Haney, uh, doing a molecular biology PhD at the University of Buffalo. And people frequently ask, can our students succeed without going to a graduate program? And indeed, they can. Students uh, can get entry-level positions in the pharmaceutical and science industries. Uh, these are two of our students, Sarah Mello and Katrina Flory, who are research scientists at a corporation that is fairly local here. They are both very successful. Sarah's gone on to a position in Boston at this point. Um, she's another one that's uh, near and dear to me in that um, she went to Ghana with uh, the students and I and uh, went on that service trip to perform operations for folks who otherwise wouldn't be able to get it. Um, and her husband, Michael Capucci, also went on that trip. So really rewarding stuff on so many levels. Melissa Mulvaney uh, went directly into the service at an accelerated level in the service. And this was her goal right from the beginning. And you can tell from the smile on her face how thrilled she is with this path. So our goal, our commitment, is to give our students the education, support, and opportunities to move forward and, most importantly, succeed in their chosen career path. We have a long track record of doing this, and I'm very proud of the program that we have and hope you'll consider us for your future. Thank you very much. This is our outside classroom that I use on a regular basis on beautiful days. This is a place where we can engage in discussions and communicate with each other in just such a beautiful setting that Franklin Pierce has. Please get in touch with us if we can answer any questions. Again, this is Dr. Thomas Bennett, and I'm happy to talk with you. Please get in touch with the admissions representatives, and I will be able to um, talk to you and answer any questions along with all of the other health sciences as faculty being available to you as well. Thank you very much again.